If you're an aspiring photographer, a professional, or even just a hobbyist, you've probably either seen or used camera lens filters. Filters can be used to help minimize glare and reflections, enhance colors, reduce light coming into the lens, and even protect your lens from dust and scratches. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of three different types of lens filters, UV filters, polarizing filters, and neutral density filters. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll add a link to the description below to our selection of lens filters we carry at App. Let's start with the UV filters. UV filters are transparent filters that block ultraviolet light, which in turn reduces haziness in photos without altering the exposure of your photos. UV filters protect the lens from moisture, dirt, and scratches, so they're great to use in wet or muddy environments, or environments with a lot of dust. UV filters are good for all types of photography, but you need to be careful because sometimes they can intensify lens flares in your images, which can make them lose quality. Next, we have polarizing filters. Polarizing filters give your photos more depth by increasing saturation of colors and reducing reflections and haze. These filters attach to your lens and then you can rotate them to adjust the look of the image. If you're using one of these filters, rotate it while watching your image and camera until you like what you see. But be aware of vignetting that can occur around the edge of your image. Polarizing filters are great for landscapes because they darken skies while making colors pop and reduce reflections, which is good if you're capturing glassy surfaces or water. One thing to be careful of when using polarizing filters is if you're using an ultra wide angle lens. It can sometimes make colors like the blue in the sky appear uneven, so you'll have to watch out for that. Neutral density filters, or ND filters, are filters with dark colored glass that keep out unwanted light. By reducing the amount of light that hits your sensor, you're able to take better photos without having to sacrifice creative control due to light. For example, if you wanted to take a photo of a moving stream and capture the motion blur of the water, slap an ND filter on your lens and you're able to decrease your shutter speed to accomplish that without having an overexposed image. You can continue using metering like you normally do, but will have more creative control in certain lighting situations. ND filters are good for when the contrast between your highlights and shadows is so great that you can't get a quality exposure without sacrificing one or the other. They're useful in daytime photography when there's so much light that you'd have to relinquish any creative control, and also in flash photography since you won't be able to increase your shutter speed once you hit your flash sync speed limit. And ND filters won't affect the color of your images, so you don't have to worry about that. If you have any questions about the filters we carry here at Apt, don't hesitate to call, email, or chat with one of our experts online at app.com. I'll see you next time.